Hey, y'all. Elizabeth Andrews. Welcome back to some more movement play. This class is called a bridge roll. We are going to be in a bridge position, and we're going to learn how to roll on the meaty part of our shoulder after we bring about some tension and stability into the torso. So come down to the floor. We're going to start in a supine 90-90. Now, this exercise I do often in my body laps class. It is one of the most important movements to me to get us started in developing stability throughout the whole system. We start proximally, so distally we move better. And I want to do that today because when we move into the bridge, it's imperative to me that we have some stability. Oftentimes when we get into a bridge, I see a lot of rib flare and a lot of hypermobility. So we're gonna start in a supine 90-90 on our floor and then we'll move into the sequence in this movement play class. Are you ready? So come down onto the floor. You're gonna start with your knees bent. The back of your head is contact. The thoracic spine is contact to the floor. Your low back, notice there's a little bit of space between your low back and the floor. That's your natural lordotic curve. So maintain that. You don't wanna press your low back to the ground, which you hear in movement classes, but you need to know, you need to know, that's cueing dysfunction. We wanna maintain the natural stability of your lordotic spine that took you a long time to develop. And we're just gonna start with our feet on the floor, and then your sacrum is the other connection of the floor. Neck long, chin in. So just start here to breathe. And grab your ribs and breathe into your ribs. Let them go out laterally. Are they expanding laterally when you breathe? I'm not gonna spend a lot of coaching here. We save that for the movement labs classes. And now go ahead and lift your knees, knees right over hips. Maintain that. You don't wanna press your low back to the ground, which you hear in movement classes, but you need to know, you need to know, that's cueing dysfunction. We wanna maintain the natural stability of your lordotic spine that took you a long time to develop. And we're just gonna start with our feet on the floor, and then your sacrum is the other connection of the floor. Neck long, chin in. So just start here to breathe. And grab system, we start proximally, so distally we move better. And I want to do that today because when we move into the bridge, it's imperative to me that we have some stability. Oftentimes when we get into a bridge, I see a lot of rib flare and a lot of hypermobility. So we're going to start in a supine 90-90 on our floor, and then we'll move into the sequence in this movement play class. Are you ready? So come down onto the floor. You're going to start with your knees bent. The back of your head is contact. The thoracic spine is contact to the floor. Your low back, notice there's a little bit of space between your low back and the floor. That's your natural lordotic curve. So maintain that. You don't wanna press your low back to the ground, which you hear in movement classes, but you need to know, you need to know, that's cueing dysfunction. We wanna maintain the natural stability of your lordotic spine that took you a long time to develop. And we're just gonna start with our feet on the floor, and then your sacrum is the other connection of the floor. Neck long, chin in. So just start here to breathe. And grab your ribs and breathe into your ribs. Let them go out laterally. Are they expanding laterally when you breathe? I'm not gonna spend a lot of coaching here. We save that for the movement labs classes. And now go ahead and lift your knees, knees right over hips, ankles are flexed. So they're super active. You can have your arms onto the floor, palms up, palms down. They're really just placeholders. We're focusing on what's going on in the low body. I like to grab my ribs so I can make sure that I'm breathing, give this tactile cue breathing where I should. So you're gonna take an inhale, and then you're gonna exhale out that snake sound. That's where we're building the pressure in through the torso. So stay here again a couple of times. And as you exhale, you should feel this strength, this tension happening in the torso. Like it's super strong and you could step on my belly, ideally, if you wanted to. There's that much pressure built behind the shield. Let's do a couple more. Keeping your legs active, 
Now we're going to add, do it one more, and then we're going to add the legs. Keeping the neck long, you're still out. Now this time, we're going to tap the heel to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, tap the right heel to the floor. The leg moves in sync with breath. Again, left side. Pull the thigh back. Really hard to breathe and coach at the same time, but you get the essence of the idea. Inhale again, exhale. So the leg moves, keep it, tap, keep, and then pull the thigh back. Ankles stay flexed, do the left side. I want you to draw your hips towards your, uh, your rib cage, towards your hips. One more each side. You should maybe feel a little bit of shaking, a little heat, inhale. Like you're breathing out of a straw or that snake sound again. Last one. Stay here, notice. Do you feel solid? Do you feel like you've created more stability and tension through the torso? So it feels like a plank. It's like a canister. That's what we're trying to create. Take your legs down. Now we've developed this strong canister and we're gonna build into this bridge position. Again, same position of the head and neck. Take an inhale and then drive your feet into the ground to bridge. Notice we've got this strong plank position. My ribs are still tracking towards the hips. And then lower down as one unit. Maintaining stability of the spine, ribs to belt line. Inhale, drive up. Now, if from this bridge position, I'm gonna come towards you in the camera. You're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna lift it and needle it under your left rolling on the meaty side of your right shoulder, right leg extends, and I'm gonna come over onto a forearm plank. Don't worry, we're gonna do this a few times. Going back the way you came, I rolled on the right shoulder, I'm gonna lift that right hand, hips stay up, come down to the meaty side of the shoulder. I'm going to lift up that left leg, come back to bridge and lower. Now, you're gonna be moving all over the place, so make sure you have plenty of room. You're not gonna stay on a yoga square or a yoga mat. I'm gonna have you playing, moving all over the floor. Come back into this bridge position. So just be aware of that. Kind of let yourself go, get out of your box, and let's move. Reset your bridge, inhale drive up. Let's do the right side again. Lift the right foot. It needles under the left going super slow as I coach you through it. Rolling on the meaty part of the shoulder. You're going to begin to extend out. Hips stay up to press into that forearm plank. Hold this forearm plank. Push the ground away. Neck long. Breathe. Working stability. Strength. Let's go back. Coming back to the meaty part of that right shoulder. Roll back. This is the leg we rolled under. Come into your bridge. Lower. Let's do one more toss. time to side. Inhale, bridge up. Keep your strong plank. Begin to needle the right leg under. Come to forearm. Stay into your forearm plank. Neck long, chin in. Hold this forearm plank. Press out of the heels. Lift the right leg, come to the meaty part of your shoulder, begin to roll, look, hips stay up in the air, they're not dropping. You're keeping that right leg extended. Roll back into that bridge position and lower. How was that? I'm gonna reset my position as we now drill the left side, and then we're gonna add on. Reset the bridge, inhale, drive up. Now this time, left leg needles under right leg, so I'm gonna be moving away from you. Lift the left foot, begin to roll onto the left meaty side. Watch how I extend into that leg as I roll over onto a forearm plank. Go back, left arm drops, I'm on the shoulder. Right leg flips over, hips stay up into your bridge and lower. 
inhale. Let's do it again. Bridge up, nice, strong, stable platform. Begin to row, needle left, come over onto forearm. Hold this forearm plank, breathe here. Neck long, drive out of the heels. Begin to lower, left shoulder, right leg comes over. You're in that bridge position. Lower. Again, bridge up, left, row under, forearm plank. Stay here in this forearm plank, neck long, chin in. Push the ground away, grabbing the floor. Let's go back, not collapsing into the shoulders. Hips stay up, come back into that bridge position and lower. Do you see how rotated all over the floor? You're gonna be doing that too and we're gonna add on. How was that? Did you practice the left and right? I'm not gonna lose you, I promise. This should feel playful. It should be kind of fun rolling around on the floor, but get this, we're working mobility, we're working stability, and there's a lot of strength component involved as well. Let's go, this is fun to practice with your kids too. All right, I'm going back to the right side. Set your bridge position, let's add on. Nice stable platform, inhale, drive up. Right leg needles through. Come to that forearm plank, stay here, watch, begin to drive in, walk into plank. That's an elbow that's hinging at the elbow, lower back. Right arm comes under, roll on the meaty part of your shoulder. There you are in bridge, left side. Stay in the forearm, drive up. Walk the feet forward, wrist under shoulder. Slowly hinge back. Left arm, shoulder, back to that bridge. And lower. Okay, so now you're probably like, well, that was a surprise. I'm gonna show you modifications that you can one arm at a time come up into that plank as we begin to, bat up, uh, to add on. Remember, we're just warming up. We're just building some of these movements to add on and then you can play with them and flow with them on your own or with me here in a moment. Ready? Let's get back into that bridge. Here we go, y'all. Neck long, so think about the bridge because this is where we start. We're going back to that right leg. I'm gonna be moving towards you, towards camera. Inhale, drive up, strong bridge. Going right leg needling under, forearm plank. Press up, hips stay up. Breathe here, push the ground away. Now, watch, here's your modification. Step, step into plank. Easy breezy, and then go back that way. Watch the shoulders, try not to collapse. Right arm drops, meaty part of the shoulders. Notice, my neck, my head is not touching the ground. My hips are staying up, roll back. Here's your bridge, ribs to belt line, roll left. More arm, once again, step, step to plank, neck long, lower back, forearm, left shoulder, roll, back to bridge, and lower. So that's an option for you. You can combine two, trying the hinge push up, as well as the up, up, down, down. Totally up to you. Now let's roll through this a couple of times and then I've only got a couple more movements to add on. We'll put it all together. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Put on your best tunes. Find that movement, that playful spirit that all of us have and do this with me. Ready? Inhale, right side. Go to forearm, drive up. Hold your plank, slowly lower. Meaty arm, back to rut bridge. Row left, forearm. Strong, up plank, lower, left. Let's do it again. Row right, forearm. Hold this one. Drive up, slowly lower. Row, keep your hips high, ribs to belt line. Keep rolling, drive up, lower, left meaty sh shoulder, keep your bridge, 
and lower. <laughs> Woo! That gets your heart rate up. It, can you tell? It looks like we're not doing a whole lot, but think of all the sequencing that is required to do these movements all over the floor. All this integration as well. Let's add on, we're almost there. We're about 15 minutes in. We've got about 10 more minutes. Come on, let's go. Back to bridge, I'm gonna scoot down this way a little bit. Coming towards the camera, we're adding a side plank, getting into deep mobility of the hips. Watch me here. You ready? Inhale, strong plank, bridge. Push the ground away. Ribs to belt line, stay in this bridge, feel it. Ribs to belt line, strong plank. I want you to feel that posterior side. Now, let's go. Row, needle, come into forearm. Stay in this forearm, grab the floor. Press up to plank. Look at your right shoulder. Roll over your wrist. Look at your right wrist. Wrist should be directly under shoulder. Stay here. Keep your hands on your ribs. Pull your ribs to belt line. Look straight ahead. Eyes at horizon. Drive the bottom leg into the floor. Begin to lift the top and step it to where your hand was. Press your hips to the floor without collapsing shoulder. Press pubic bone to the floor. A lot of mobility into the hip, the front of the back hip, and the back. Drop the back knee and begin to open the chest towards the ceiling. Grab that bottom rib, pull it open, breathe here. Drive your toes into the ground, light it up. Light up that butt, breathe. Keep pulling your chest. Unwind, pull it through, toes drive in, extend that leg, going back to side plank, look at the wrist. Begin to slowly lift that leg, take it around to the back, and then wild thing, reach. Press into the floor, lift and get into back extension. Solid arm, push the ground away. We go back, side plank, begin to lift. Hold that stable platform. Take the legs back, offset. Come back to plank. Forearm. Right arm. We roll to bridge. Stay here and bridge. Feel it. Connect. Ready, left side. Roll. Without collapsing in. Shoulders down, keeping your neck space. Release the ribs. Extend. Make sure the wrist is back under shoulder. Set the base leg, slowly move through, slow, slow. Set and drive into the floor. Wild thing, strong left arm. Breathe here, stay here as long as you want. You can do it at your own pace, but I want you to move slow with these movements. You're intentional and deliberate and how you're working your patterns. Back to plank, lower into forearms. Left side comes through, roll, stay in this final bridge. Breathe here, ribs to belt line. Try to pull your heels to your butt. Ribs to belt line, breathe. Extend your arms towards the sky. Breathe here. I want the platform driving into the ground right under your big toe, right under your pinky toe, and the heel, press in without losing your bridge. Watch this flare, you see it all the time. I want this plank, final push, pull your heels towards your butt as you drive that tripod in. Breathe, four, 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 three. Keep trying to drag your heels to your butt. Come on, pull, 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 and then lower this plank. Take it legs up the wall for just a moment here. And breathe, neck long. And notice, we did a lot of movement that required some sequencing in order to get from A to B. That's beautiful motor control. That's where you get to check a lot of boxes and you get a lot of bang for your butt. Bring your legs in. Hug your knees in, roll around on that sacrum. Oftentimes this is the best part of class, don't you think? We love this. 
and then roll up to a seated position. And I want you to close your eyes for just a moment. And sit tall with your eyes closed. When was the last time you rolled around on the floor? If you're not a wrestler or a jiu-jitsu or an MMA guy or gal, when's the last time you rolled around on the floor? For fun. You just did. Add it to your movement. Play. It doesn't have to look like what we did today. Get out in the grass and get the grounding going on and roll and somersault. Get your kids involved, get your dogs involved. Roll around and see what's all expected and required of the system that you walk around on earth in. Awesome job. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Elizabeth.